All right, guys, so we are going to get a pretty massive update coming out tomorrow night for Dragon Ball Legends weekly reset update. Now, we will be talking about all the events we're going to get, what we can expect, and much, much more, including three guaranteed free LFs, guys. So that's pretty exciting stuff. Now, uh, quickly, the reveals and stuff is going to start tomorrow at 6 a.m. Pacific time. 10 or no excuse me 9 a.m eastern time so if you guys want to stop by i will be having a watch party here one hour before so we can just kind of like talk about it and stuff like that and watch the reveal together so i'm very excited man because uh there's a good chance we are going to start seeing what if characters in dragon ball legends and that is a great opportunity for endless amount of characters to floodgate in the game so uh Yes, let's not waste any time. It, by the way, guys, I forgot to mention, um, you guys already know, and I, I'm going to get off the screen really quick for a second, but you guys already know that I have this beautiful shop that I just launched a day ago. Um, now, the thing is, everybody that ordered a day ago um, is part of the first shipment. I'm going to start packing every single order, okay, uh, today and tomorrow, and every shipment, will, I mean, every single order will be included in the first shipment on Wednesday, okay, Wednesday, guys. Check out all these artworks. I restocked all the new ones. I mean, all the old ones. Uh, these these four right here are all the new ones. So absolutely beautiful. It's the best Christmas present to get anybody, guys. It's these 3D beautiful lenticular artworks. I mean, honestly, don't don't you know procrastinate your Christmas shopping, guys, because uh, that's something I personally do. Uh, but yeah, I mean, if you guys want to be part of the first shipment, by all means, you guys already know, just order today and I'll pack your orders today and tomorrow as well. So um, everything is linked down below. I just, I needed to mention that because I don't want people wondering where their orders are. Everything is going to go out Wednesday, okay? Now, let's talk about every single event leaving really quick, including what we can expect, okay? So this special event right here, which has the question marks, is finally going to get revealed. I'm actually very curious to see what the name is going to be. Um, we all know that the final stage is going to be, um, you know, actually the final stage is already, there's going to be multiple stages, not just, a, it got leaked. So basically it's just one of the next stage and then there's going to be multiple other stages. So um, the story officially begins on the 12th, which is going to be tomorrow night or right, tomorrow night. Yeah, tomorrow night, right? So, um, of course, Goku and Bardock. Actually, Dragon Ball Legends just released this right here. Uh, the final cryptic message, which says, Deep within your heart, let your sane pride burn bright and stand against fate. Now, something I really want to quickly mention is that um, there's, of course, you guys already saw by now the um, the Goku teaser and the Bardock teaser. Something I want to mention is the, uh, the silhouette of the characters are slightly moving, like they're kind of nodding. Um, this, there's a, there's a little bit of speculation that this might be a free to play ultra because we haven't got that in a long time. And then they're going to come out with an LF, which is powerful opponent. Now I, I, am just saying what has been said throughout the community, but, um, I do think we are going to be getting a Goku and a Bardock. Um, this is very exciting stuff guys, because you know, this is going to fall under the, um, games original. Okay. So I think they just, I think they should just rebrand this to legends original not games original or you could keep games original it's fine because right here it says a legends original story so i'm, I'm actually really excited for the story as well huge you know uh huge ups to Dragon Ball legends for taking this step if they do indeed take this step but that's what it looks like for now so we're gonna get that also the rate at number four now this is pretty massive because here we can collect finally our fourth a raid on our metal and with this we can exchange for 600 legends limited multi z power so that's pretty massive um i'm gonna save that to see um where i'm gonna plug that in maybe my beast gohan maybe my evolution vegeta and kyle Kang goku uh we'll have to wait to see i'm kind of kind of i'm kind of thinking of banking that for part two or part three because we don't know what, what we're going to get yet right so Oh, <clears throat> we have that now something else that's pretty massive guys is that we should be seeing the tickets Okay, this is huge. Um, the tickets for the 100 summons. Right now, you guys through your missions can collect exactly 85 tickets. If I had to predict, we're, we're going to be able to summon our first step. There's obviously two steps as you guys can see. The, uh, each, each one of these steps on the final three summons, you guys will be able to summon basically 100 characters per step. So for the first step on step uh, on the final summon of 97 or 98, 99, and 100, it's all guaranteed LFs, guys. So you'll get three guaranteed LFs. It's pretty exciting stuff, and there's some pretty good characters, although, of course, it starts off kind of weak, and then it slightly progresses as you guys progress through the steps. 
So, I mean, of course, Beast Gohan, Revival Goku. I think Android 17 is in here as well, which, by the way, huge shout out to the voice actor Chuck Huber for following me over on Twitter, the voice actor of Android 17. So, huge ups to him. I just want to uh, quickly plug that in. It was pretty cool to see uh, when I woke up this morning. So, we're going to get that. Uh, Zankai Rush Battle Topo is going to end. Uh, these two Kabas from the original series is going to get replaced by two brand new ones. So we can farm Adventures, which is also going to get uh, recycled, which is the Adventures. Now, PvP Festival Duel 2023 Season 2 is going to start. And of course, this was going to end. So right now, I'm like top 300. And I think I just fought KSI as well this morning. So it's pretty fun to do. Uh, shout out to KSI. A lot of shout outs today. But uh, uh, yes, so we're going to get that season. Whole Poi is also ending. Actually, it ended yesterday night. Um, don't know if they're going to recycle this. I don't think they are. But if they do, that'd be great. But yeah, uh, the Master Orchard training event, uh, it just came in the game. But it ends later on in the week, like in five to six days from now. So plug that in really quick. Two banners ending, which is Ultra Rosé and Ultra Super Saiyan Blue uh, Gogeta. So quickly, I uh, note on that. We are going to be getting the Equipment Bonanza, or excuse me, the Mega Equipment Bonanza. Now, anybody that bashes this event, I get it. It's not like crazy, you know, help into your stats. You might get like a 1% with the Mega Upgrade Bonanza, like to your, to your equipment. But let me give you guys a little perspective. Without this, right, let's just say... Um, for each one of your uh, slots, you get an extra, I don't know, like 0 0.5. So on total with all three slots, you get an extra 1.5 or uh, yeah, 1.5, 0 percent. That's like easily guaranteed. Let's just say per per equipment, that's like you'll save like 200 erasers and multiple e re-rolls and stuff like that. So it's better than not having it. I see some people complaining with this, and I don't get why people complain. It's better this than not having it. Like, it's common sense, right? So, um, could it be better? Sure, but it's better than not having it, right? So, we're going to get that. Um, new equipment is something we could definitely expect and stuff like that. Um, okay, let's see what else here. Let's see. And, okay, so basically the reviews and stuff is going to be uh, tomorrow at 6 a.m., and that's going to... No, uh, we're going to get more info on everything there. So something else I want to mention is that this might be an ultra, not only because of the head movements of the silhouettes, but if you pause it at the correct time, you guys see this ink brush. Now, I will say the ink brush is well used in the, like when they reveal characters, there's still like, a, uh, like an ink brush, right? When it says new fighters. So um, this could mean nothing, but you know, we're here to speculate and pause and try to figure stuff out because Dragon Ball Legends is notorious for leaving stuff behind now. Uh, what if characters would be absolutely huge, guys? I mean, take a look at this. If we get Bardock and Goku, we might get a freezing cooler down the line. Maybe a Beerus and Whis. Uh, this is Weerus. Which <laughs> Beerus and Whis fuse. That's actually on uh, Dokkan. Uh, Timebreaker, Bardock. So just some really wacky stuff, Maji Goku. This is probably not going to happen. Um, of course, Namek Vegeta. To be honest, I would love to see the story in this. Um, because there is a story revolved around it as well. So... Imagine if Vegeta turned Super Saiyan Namek versus Frieza. He wouldn't spare Frieza the way Goku did. I'll tell you that much right now. So, uh, but yeah, guys, I mean, uh, one quick final plug. Go check out the shop. Everything is linked down below. You guys have to do your Christmas shoppings uh, today because we're like two weeks away from Christmas. So um, there's a whole bunch of good deals right now on my shop. Everything's linked down below. And if you guys want to order today, you will be part of the first shipment uh, in order for you guys to get everything before Christmas. So go do that today. And if you guys did enjoy the video, as always, make sure you guys simply just like and subscribe. And I'll definitely catch you guys once again on the next one. Peace.